week. It is December and we have a lot of celebration to do. There is my birthday, New Year's Eve and Christmas. The thing is, I have a lot of dresses to try out, so this will probably take a while. So please sit back, relax and you can watch. <laughs> to give you a little indication of all the dresses I own. This is only three quarters of it. I may or may not list where the dresses come from. I have thrifted dresses, dresses that were gifted to me, and dresses that mysteriously ended up in my closet, and I seriously don't know where they came from. I am experimenting with my YouTube channel, so I am going to list a few different timestamps with all the different kind of dresses, so that if you are here for one specific type of dress, you can click on that and see what I own of that type of dress. Maybe to give you some celebration for New Year's Eve and Christmas that are coming up if you want to dress in a dress. Basically, you can also celebrate my birthday, but I don't think you will do that, so... But thank you anyways. Let's start with the first type of dress, which is the comfy dresses that I can wear at home or wear anywhere, basically. Hello cheesecakes, welcome to this voiceover. I hope you're having a great day because I am not because I'm on my period, but that's out of the question right now, so let's talk about dresses. This is one of the dresses I'm speaking about when I say some dresses ended up in my closet mysteriously. We're not going to involve Sherlock in this video, so let's just talk about the things that I do know. I feel like I get Phoebe Buffet vibes from this dress. I don't know if you see it, but definitely that's something I can resonate with. This dress is thrifted. It's actually a pyjama. I really like the pattern and the lace details, which is why I bought it. You can see it in a thrift haul in another video. This dress gives me schoolgirl kind of vibes, and these pigtails definitely don't change the image. It is from the brand Kiabi, and I bought it new a few years ago. Not the best sustainable choice, Maddie, you little capitalist demon. When we're speaking about my favorite film studio of all time, it is definitely Studio Ghibli. And this dress is Studio Ghibli in every single aspect. Of all the protagonists they have, this dress definitely is a dress they would wear. I feel like I'm animated in like Castle in the Sky or Kiki's Delivery Surface or something. I would like to say that I haven't shaved in a very long time because I'm a woman and I grow hair naturally and I don't feel that I should shave that for any other person. If you feel disturbed by that, I am warning you now, just saying. By the way, the last dress was thrifted and this dress is too. These are like black overalls, you can wear them over basically anything. And that's really what I like about clothing when I can do a lot with it. That's what she said! <laughs> it's amazing how you can make jokes and laugh at your own jokes, but is it actually funny? <laughs> So this is another dress that belongs in my schoolgirl closet. I think I am kind of obsessed with the uniforms and schoolgirls. Feel like an old man watching teenage girls walk on the street. Okay, this is going the wrong way. The next dress is another pyjama. I think that these belong in the general dresses category. In general, it is a dress we're speaking about. It is just a pyjama. So it's actually kind of a nightgown. But the thing is that I wear pyjamas as normal clothing now during lockdown. So actually, we can count this as a dress. And by the way, it is also thrifted just like the last one. When I don't say if something is secondhand or not, you can probably say that it is secondhand. Also, this dress has pockets, so that's magic. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not a pyjama, girls and guys and fish. This is actually a dress that I wear when I'm at home. It's from the fast fashion brand CNA, which is a very famous brand in Belgium. The dress is made from viscose and polyester, and it is a really, really soft fabric. My guilty pleasure is definitely a dress with lace and buttons. Because I'm a broke angel, I begged my boyfriend to buy this dress for me. And he did, because I'm a little psycho. So, end of the story. My boyfriend bought this dress for me in London. And I don't ever wear it because I am afraid it will get dirty. Hmm, an entire dress made of lace. This dress I bought at Lola and Lisa, which is also a very famous brand in Belgium. I have had this dress for a very, very long time. This black little thing is also very, very old. It is also bought new from the brand CNA. I used to buy a lot of my clothing there when I was younger. I think I bought this one when I was like 14 or 15. Then I didn't fit in it anymore, but I couldn't throw it out and now I fit it again, which is basically magic in itself. This is a summer dress from Pepe Jeans and I have never bought something that's that expensive. It was 30 euros in a sale and that's the reason I bought it, because I really wanted to give myself a present. So this is a reminder to you that you really should give yourself 
a present from time to time. I don't like how long it is, but I just can't bring myself to cut it. This is a dress that I carry in my heart. It is a dress I would get married to, I swear. If I ever find a double ganger of this dress, I will buy it or I will buy three of it because I don't want this dress to die and I want to keep it for the rest of my life. It would definitely be an obsessive toxic relationship. I seriously feel like Alice in Wonderland in this dress. This is, I must say, my favorite dress of them all. No shits. I have two favorite dresses and this is definitely one of them. I got some more footage to show you how beautiful this dress is, so I hope you get an obsession too, and then we can all wear the same dress. Yeah, see, I'm really obsessed with school uniforms. What the hell is this? This dress is from the brand New Look. I bought it secondhand and it's made from 100% cotton. The first formal dress is just a simple black dress that you can wear to any occasion, but I think it is also very well suited for something more formal. And this dress is definitely a kind of office dress, but like a kind of chic kind of office dress, if you know what I mean. It also gives me a kind of vibe that I'm cute from the Cardin series, uh, the books that are actually on the bookshelf behind me. The design of this dress kind of gives me a feeling that I'm wearing some kind of armor, and I really like that. In this dress, I lure boys to my altar to sacrifice them. Okay, that's not true. Instead, I lure girls. Okay, that's also not true. Instead, I bought this dress at a fast fashion brand. Okay, that's also not true. I'm telling a lot of lies today. My boyfriend bought this dress for me because he actually lures me into his sacrifice altar. That didn't sound quite right. So I'm gonna just say that I'll go with the first one. Let's forget about the red handmade dresses and go to the blue Gormanda's wife dresses because I am obsessed with the series The Handmaid's Tale. You can say that by now. <laughs> Just another obsession. Don't worry about it. I'm also obsessed with falling in love with the powerful villains in young adults books and series but maybe that's just psychological. Going back to the dresses we are actually seeing a kind of orange tinted dress but when you see it in real life it's not really orange. It's a weird shade. It's second hand but the cards were still on the dress so I'm guessing it's still brand new. The thing is that the fabric feels really really cheap and the brand is actually called Boohoo. I've never heard of that brand and it kind of scares me. In this dress I kind of feel like a sexy bag of trash which honestly I probably am. I really like the back because it's a flower pattern but the front is a little crazy because it's so white and I could easily hide a baby bump in here. So if you ever see me wearing this dress in 10 years you know what's going on. This next dress feels like a sexy spy costume. Honestly, I have been obsessed with... Oh wow, another obsession. I've been obsessed with Totally Spy since I was very young and you know, I can see this live action in my head where the girls are dressed so nicely and this would definitely be a dress Clover should wear on a date. This dress is very flexible so it's easy to kick ass. In real life, the color is more vivid red so just saying that you don't think this is another weird shade of orange. Putting these two dresses in a timeline after one another gives me Christmas vibes. This green dress is also a little darker in real life. The thing is that it's really, really tight. It is probably one size too small for me. I am going to wear it if I like it. I bought this dress secondhand for only a few euros, but it's actually from Primark. Oh, look, mommy, it's a giant vegan marshmallow. I'm no kidding. This really looks like a marshmallow or a badly packed Christmas present of which the wrapping paper was lying in your grandma's attic for 50 years. There's no good reason I am roasting this dress because it's my dress and I still very like it. I bought it secondhand. It is very flexible and it kind of looks still all right but it also gives me 2009 prom vibes and that's just so random I even don't know why. This is the dress I wore at my very first premiere one year ago. I felt thick so this dress really hid all my insecurities because it's a little wider than usual and you can't really see my body in it which is basically every girl's dream. Woohoo! I think this dress really gives me also a kind of angel vibe, but believe me, I thrifted this. My boyfriend didn't buy this for me. This last dress is probably my favorite of them all, but it is really open and see-through here in the front, so I will keep it covered with my hand. I thrifted this dress in London two and a half years ago, 
and I have to say that it's been my favorite of all time. The thing is that I've never had an opportunity to wear it because I believe it is a dress that was made for like a prom or for like a graduation. So basically I have nowhere to wear this dress to, especially not during Covid times. I really want to show it to you and I think I'll keep this dress for the rest of my life because I love it so, so much. <laughs> I bought this dress in a vintage shop in London. It was actually in the basement. I don't know if anybody knows the name because I forgot where it is and I definitely want to go back. I bought it for around £30. It is quite much for a secondhand dress, also because there's a little, little tiny smudge on the dress, which I hate, but luckily you can't really see it. Definitely not with my camera quality. <laughs> this dress is also a really nice color and I think it really suits me well, but I think someone with a darker skin color would look better in this dress, to be honest. <laughs> I bought this dress new from Ichi. It's actually a sustainable one because they sell some sustainable dresses. I don't know in what extent I can trust that. It's definitely a nice summer dress and I love wearing it. The next dress looks like a kind of big feather, but I like it and I bought it on Instagram. But I think I'm gonna sell it soon. This next dress gives me Greek goddess kind of vibes and I really feel that when I'm wearing it or kind of fairy vibes. I bought it secondhand from a fashion boutique. It's from Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know if anybody knows it. I just noticed that the bottom was cut off. You can see through the first layer, but the second layer, which actually hides my skin, was cut off. So I don't know what kind of fabric it is, which is kind of sad, but I'm guessing it's a fancy one because it looks like it. I just looked at their website and I swear I'm seriously drooling. They have such a nice collection, but they're not sustainable, so it just feels feels wrong to buy from them. You see this dress and you immediately think about a Greek goddess or a vintage picnic bitch. I just looked up this brand. It's called Vendi in Belgium. It's a dress of 100% cotton. I just found out that they're a brand for sleepwear. Does this mean that this dress is actually a pajama? Yes, it does. Doesn't mean I am going to wear it at daytime pretending it's a normal dress. Yes, this next dress is not thrifted like the last one. This one is actually new and I bought it at only. I have a haul up on my channel. If you want to watch that, I'll link it down below. This dress is really, really comfortable. It's a little wide, but also it fits perfectly. I don't know if that makes sense. It is really comfortable. So I think it would fit in my comfortable dresses category, but because it's a long dress, I I am putting it in this long dress category. I bought this dress specifically for my grandmother's funeral because her favorite color was purple. I really wanted to have something that she would have loved. I saw this dress and I instantly knew this is what I'm going to wear for her funeral. Very sad story, Madeleine. Just show us the dress. I bought this dress at the brand Reserved in Poland because it was on sale and I was still buying fast fashion. I have to say that I don't regret it because I am absolutely still in love with this dress and I am definitely in the mood to wear it again but also for a special occasion. It's made from 19% polyester and 10% elastane which means it's a very bad option for the environment but it's now in my closet. I am not going to throw it away because it is bad although you should do that to your ex-boyfriends. Oh boy, what a bad joke to end with. Voice over, Maddie is going to die. Three, two, one. I forgot to film these two dresses because they were in the laundry basket. That one is thrifted, that one is new. This one you can see in another video of mine, which I will link in the description. And this dress is still to be featured in another thrift haul. So stay tuned for that. Please let me know in the comments which dress was your favorite or which one you would definitely wear to New Year's Eve party or to my birthday if you're coming. Are you coming? Let me know what kind of content you like and please subscribe to my channel to see more of my crazy videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Voice over, Maddie is taking revenge. Whoa. I'm here to entertain you till the end of this end screen on my video. So please now subscribe and go away because this is, this is really cringe.